they had a party around here last night. Like, I don't know how I slept through it because I woke up this morning and I had a drink of water next to me and my straw was all chewed up. And there was litter all over the floor and all the magazines were dumped off the coffee table because I fell asleep on the couch and just woke up this morning. So, and like their fishing pole toy was fucking broken. I don't know what happened last night. Like, I think they got into Dan's booze and just had a fucking rager. What happened was you have kittens. I know, but I slept through all of it. Like, I, Dan was not home last night and I, I fell asleep watching TV and somehow I slept through all of this and I woke up and it was like the end of that Beastie Boys video. <laughs> like, I don't know what they did all night. I bear- and, you know, I, I get up and they're inside the futon and I go up to find them and they're like, oh, hey, breakfast. We've totally been here all along. And I'm like, no, no, you demonstrably have not because the house is a fucking wreck. I'm very lucky. This one is not very destructive, thankfully. <laughs> they're except very destructive, but they're very sweet. Except your pet bed. Why do you want to kill your oh, pet bed? Why are you bapping her in the head? Every time Dottie sticks her head out, she gets kebapped in the head. Because kittens are fucking vicious. This one has just, this one is... But they're so sweet. Like, they go, they, they've discovered inside the futon upstairs, which is their new favorite hiding place. Last night, Peggy was asleep up there. Dottie came down and sat with me. Well, Peggy doesn't like to wake up alone. She kind of freaks out and makes these really sad squeaking noises until you come get her. So we were, we heard the squeaking and I got up to go get her and Dottie like trotted right along beside me and ran to get her and licked her face until she felt better. It was the sweetest thing. They wait till you're not around to do shit because the way you reinforce them is you punish them immediately after they do something bad. So if you're not around, you can't punish them. They're sneaky little shits. I don't punish them for anything. Oh, that's going to come back to bite you in the ass. You remember Bridget. I let Bridget do whatever the fuck she wanted to. I am not an authority. There's a reason I don't have children. I am not an authoritarian. Yeah, you, you, they're they're, they're going to own you. They're, they're going to. F- you. They're going please to don't walk on the keyboard. No, please don't walk on. Okay, walk on the keyboard. This one to- just tends to be lazy. He's at a lazy stage. Well, they. I mean, they slept. The whole, I was at work for six hours tonight, and apparently they slept the whole damn time. Because I came down, I, they hear the garage door opener, so then they come running, but like they were just kind of like groggily trotting down the stairs, like, hi! Oh yeah, we didn't get dinner. <laughs> right? Priorities. I did leave you dinner, though. Ah, uh, the priorities of cat. This is not a good plan. You're going to fall on your butt. You can see Peggy's, Peggy's butt hair is growing in. The shelter shaved her butt so they could tell them apart. So she has a little bald patch on her butt right above her tail. I could may have just put a tag on her temporarily. I guess that's the way they do it. They they gave her a bald spot on her butt and that's how they told them apart. We just put different colored collars on them. We and com- now I can tell them apart because their faces do have subtle differences if you if you if you're around them enough. We can put a little tag on it. Nah, shave his ass. But it would we have them we have like a stack on them. Shave his ass, shave her ass. They, they shave the butt. So she has a little bald spot on her butt that's slowly growing back. Well, we have, oh my God, there is so much fire this week. Ooh, I like fire. I had a really crummy night at work, so fire is right up my alley. No, this is, this is. Like, I am feeling very Sansa Stark at the end of last what, last night's episode. No spoilers, just she was, she was a badass bitch. Uh all right let's get the intro going each week we have to lick our butt on the internet Catherine, worldwide interwebs go out in the worldwide go out in the worldwide Catherine radio and air rides go out in the worldwide <laughs> interwebs find all sorts of horrible stuff bring it back here we'll say what we like to call what the fuck is wrong with you and this one not only is there fire we got vidya vidya <clears throat> Yeah, you may have to... I had to find this one separately, so you may have to watch this on screen with everybody else, but... So, <clears throat> it is almost the 4th of July. 
It is. Which means that stores have begun to sell fireworks. I saw this. The retail rant. The ranty bastard posted this. Including a place that should never sell fireworks. Yeah. And you're about to see why they should never sell fireworks in the Walmart. Brace yourselves, everybody. Here we go. Some guys walk into the Walmart and set the firework display on fire. Which I imagine was a really fun day for the Walmart employees. Oh my God. Walmart I mean, firework stand set on fire, <laughs> suspects no. saw it. I know. Hi, internet. Hi. You gonna punch me in the face? Okay. Police are looking for three to four suspects involved in setting a fire fireworks stand on fire inside a Phoenix Walmart on Wednesday night. Phoenix Fire Department released surveillance video from the megastore at 51 Avenue at Indian School Road showing three people firefighters said were walking away from the display as the fire started. Video shows the faces. Oh my God, look at that go! Video showed the faces of two male suspects as they looked back while they were leaving the store. But it's hard to make out what the female suspect looked like. The fire started just before 8.30 p.m. Firefighters were able to put the fire out before it spread to a nearby roll of charcoal lighter fluid and propane bottles. Because it's the seasonal aisle and the barbecue shit is right next to the firework shit. Crews used a fan truck to clear the smoke, which filled the store. The store was evacuated. Few store week workers were treated for respiratory issues related to smoke, but didn't need to go to the hospital. There was also extensive smoke and water damage to the store. And I bet they all still have to come in the next day. You fucking fox. Yeah. Because this... not only could you have legit killed somebody. Oh, God, yes. Looking aside from that, that you could have seriously injured or fucking killed somebody. These employees now either are going to lose wages because the store will be closed uh. or because it's goddamn retail. The store will not be closed and they are going to have to deal with cleaning this shit up and repairing shit yep. and working around it. Yep. I just it. It boggles the mind and they videoed it. That, they, that was their own video. What are you doing? That you saw or I just I'm trying to imagine they still, they're taking video. Yeah. They didn't even have the good goddamn sense to run? Well, after they took the video. Did no one approach them while they were filming the just the whole display going up in flames? They had it's an iPhone. Everyone's got a fucking video camera. No, but I'm days. saying, like, did nobody no, who works there apparently. or anybody happen to walk up to the guys filming the burning fireworks display and say, Hey! No. Asshole. Is this is I mean for fuck's sake, how could this play? Hey, you know what would be funny? If I go and set fire to the firework. No! That would be funny. That would be dangerous and douchey. But you know that's how this started. You know this. Hey, it'd be like, hey man, hey man, check this out. That's how this started. That's how this whole started. Hey, hey man, check this out. Check this shit out. This is going to be funny. It's going to be funny. Watch this. Watch this. And I know we all have friends. I hope that on these gentlemen's 4th of July, they buy expired hot dogs <laughs> and have two days worth of explosive diarrhea. I know we have all the, we all have friends who go, oh, this could be funny. But some of our friends who do this, and you all have at least one. Some of our friends who do this always go just a little extra too fucking far. Yeah. That's when you have to rein them in because this this will be funny. You've committed arson. Mm -hmm. This is fucking arson. Namio, I think it's Namio, makes a good point. The employees are also going to have to deal with all the other customers that are assholes to them. Yeah. Because they now don't have fireworks to sell, don't have charcoal, don't have lighter fluid to sell, and the store smells like smoke and is a mess. Well, no, the, the lighter... will customers be at all understanding when they say some assholes committed arson in here? They will not. They will just yell at you about it. 
The, the, the lighter fluid and stuff did not catch on fire because if the lighter fluid and the propane ta propane tanks had caught on fire... Do they have to keep those outdoors for that very reason? Had they caught around, on... Around here, they have to keep them outdoors. They can't have them inside the store. Had they caught on fire, there would be no more Walmart. What is happening here? No, then... We're just chewing on each other from across the void. <laughs> Excuse me. Isn't tight. Oh, I'm sorry. Have I offended you with my sneezing? But there's even more fire. More fire! More f no, no, no clap. This is bad. This no, one comes I'm to us fr from Vancouver, and this one is... Oh, my. so you know what? I, I think someday, I don't know, anyone who's familiar with Greek mythology in the channel, is there such a thing as a god of irony? Was this a real thing? Not in Greek mythology that I know of. Greek or, or Roman mythology? Was, was there a god of irony? Not that I know of. Because if there wasn't before, there probably is now. Vancouver Fire Prevention Services van catches fire. Oh. A service van for a fire prevention company burst into flames on a Vancouver street Monday afternoon. Fire, the Vancouver Fire Department said crews responded to a vehicle fire on Southeast Marine Drive near Knight Street. They found a vehicle engulfed in flames and managed to quickly contain the blaze. There were no injuries, but the fan appears to be a write-off. You think? Apparently, Momus is the god of satire, mockery, and irony. Okay, well, there, there is one, then. Yes. Oh, if we tired ourselves out? Oh, okay. The van belonged to Vancouver Fire, which describes itself as British Columbia's largest, longest established fire protection, fire safety, and commercial security and monitoring company. How did it come to burst into flames? Investigators oh, they are, don't know. Investigators are looking into what caused the fire, but is not considered suspicious at this time. I think it's pretty fucking suspicious when the fire <laughs> van catches fire. Because you would think they would know how to prevent those sorts of things. I mean, I guess they're not mechanics. And maybe something went wrong with the engine. That looks like the cabin, though. Yeah, that doesn't look like the gas tank or anything. That's that's the inside. That looks like something went awry inside. Somebody getting fired. But I'm bummed. No, this, some no one is is someone's in trouble over this shit. Because it's not just like I don't know what happened. The van was on fire. No. That's not how that works. No. It doesn't just happen. Well, I don't know. It just spontaneously combusted. That doesn't happen. That's not a real thing. I just... it, Mother... You, ha you have to admit, every si traffic must have ground to a halt as every single person slowly pulled by I to go. Just took in the, the fire truck on fire. It's just irony. It's just so much... It's just... Irony. It's someone's in trouble over that shit. I mean, at least it wasn't like the host truck, because then they'd be. Oh, they'd be they'd be completely fucked. Host. I wasn't even trying for that one. It just happened. Are we gonna fall asleep now? Yeah, that's what they do when you need We're them to perform. Beating each other up. We're gonna fall asleep. Yeah. Okay. Um. So when Patrick last had his uh, his last birthday party, how'd y'all? How how does mom handle the the stuff, the the cake and all that stuff? Um. Well. What, what, like they cut it and eat it. Yeah, but how'd she procure Candles? it? How'd she procure it? Did she go like to like a store? Oh, like she went to a bakery. To a bakery. Yeah. And you have to, like, pre-order that stuff. You have to, like, tell them what they want on it. Okay, sure. But th 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 sometimes they mess up. It happens. It's it's okay. You handle it. 
you move on. I don't think your sister ever did anything like this, though. There's a whole blog devoted to that, actually, called Cake Rex. This and it's a whole blog of just awful cakes. I don't think this woman is a fan. Woman accused of drop-kicking birthday cake at Kroger facing disorderly conduct charges. Bloomfield Township, Michigan. Police say the woman accused of drop-kicking a Kroger birthday cake last weekend is now facing disorderly conduct charges. Police say the woman went to the bakery section of Kroger to pick up a special Superman vs. Batman birthday cake. Well, already you don't like your child very much. Right, a story that is blowing up right now on our Facebook. Stop, shush. Auto, yeah, the auto play me. According to police, the woman was not satisfied with the cake, went back behind the bakery counter to fix it herself. You can't do that. You can't do that. It's not your See, house. There's these fun little things called food service regulations. Yes. And I'm betting you didn't wash your hands. You're not wearing the proper footwear. You don't have your hair properly restrained. Little, little things like that that the health department is really, really into. Well, when employees told the woman she couldn't be back there, she reportedly became upset. That's when police say she took the cake to the front of the store and proceeded to drop kick it. We were told pieces of cake were then everywhere in the bakery store. As the woman left, she also kicked over a wet floor sign. Officers spoke to the woman who told police she was upset about the poor quality of the decoration. A witness... I mean, what are you going to do? It's a Zack Snyder movie. <laughs> a witness told police she threw the cake to the ground... Stepped on, it to the ground. <laughs> Stepped on it several times and yelled. The only one who did that, right? No, you and yelled, they fucking ruined my seven year old's birthday cake. No, you ruined. You are ruining your seven year old's birthday cake by stepping on it. You, P parents get all tied up in. Sorry, now my nose itches because I sneezed. Um. Parents get all tied up and everything has to be perfect. And oh my God, you ruined my kid's birthday because you made a balloon giraffe instead of a balloon lion. And kids don't care about that shit. Their life is not ruined if the cake isn't perfect or what have you. Like, S have you parents? Have you ever flip a bitch about this stuff? Have you ever seen the quality of a seven year old's drawing? Yeah. They're not art critics. No, they don't give a fuck. Does that kind of look like Superman? Does that kind of look like Batman? Great. They're just going to eat the fucking thing anyway. And even if the cake looks like shit, spoiler alert, it's not actually going to ruin your child's whole birthday unless you cause it to do that. And you did because... You just roll with it and be like, hey man, your cake is ugly. Shit happens. But now, now the police, you, the police have to explain... Why mommy isn't going to be there to cut the cake. Yeah. Because she drop kicked the cake in the Kroger. And you have no cake now. There and is you a... have no mommy because she's in jail. And, and I love just the arrogance of it. Oh, I'm going to fix it myself. Well, for starters, if you could have done it yourself, why didn't you? Yeah. And for another, it's not your house, lady. That's not your house. You don't, you can't just wander. Do you go to other people's houses and do shit like that? It's not your house. Customers love to do this shit, though. When I worked at Sephora, I had a woman sit me down, sit me down to teach me how to do a proper smoky eye. And I'm like, actually, I, I know because it's my job to teach you. But she took all her makeup out of her bag and had me sit there while she did a really shitty job, by the way, to instruct me. And I'm like, I hope, I, I hope this is uh, making you feel good about yourself. It's not your house. Oh, well, it, it, here's our, our I, I think this one wins complete total fucking assholes of the week. For this one. It comes from Joycey, Newark. Joycey! Yeah, don't be too happy about that. You're going to get angry. I already I'm know you're... Live, 
I live in Jersey, so. Yeah, but you're going to be angry. About no, what I'm saying, I live in Jersey. How happy can I be about it? Yeah, that's true. We're best known for Chris Christie and something called pork roll. <laughs> New Jersey EMTs caught choosing White Castle over call for help. Oh. Two emergency medical service technicians caught were caught live streaming themselves as they ignored a call for help while in the drive through line of a New Jersey fast food restaurant, they've resigned. Because when I completely blow off my job, what I like to do is broadcast it on the internet. New Jer News 12 New Jersey first reported the video on Friday. The video shows the EMTs choosing to continue to wait for their food at a White Castle instead of answering a call from dispatch. The footage was captured via a cell phone live streaming app called Periscope. Newton says uh, uh, no patients were harmed as a result of the delay. Now, here's the thing, and I've had this happen. You pay and something happened. Like when I worked at Starbucks, we had a lot of cops that would come in and out. And one night we had a guy he paid and we were he was waiting for his drink to get made and he got a call and he had to run. So he just said, listen, you got to cancel my drink. And that sucks. We remembered because he was a regular. So the next time he came in, we were like, you never got your drink. This one's on us. It's, we, you know, we made good on it. Not every place might, if, especially if it's the drive through, they might not know. And that sucks. I know. But, but you know what sucks more? Dying. Yeah. He could get their sack of burgers. And trust me, if you ate that sack of burgers, you just have to go to the hospital yourself anyway. It's fucking White Castle. I've never had White Castle. Okay. Imagine a little a burger about this big. Okay, a hamburger this big that's co so greasy. There there is like more grease than meat. And it's covered in cheese, pickles, onions, and mustard. Ew. That's it. Ew. And they're called sliders. Because yeah, I, I never really understood the point of sliders. What you're supposed to do is shove the whole thing in your fucking mouth, apparently. Like, why would I eat several small burgers when I could just eat one burger sized burger? It's 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 well, it is. I guess it's to make them shoot through your colon faster because that's kind of what they do. But even even outside of White Castle, sliders are like a thing now. Like it's like a trendy thing. And I'm like, why? Just give me a fucking burger. Yeah, but White Castle is the worst. I don't want to eat Barbie food. White White Castle. If you if you ever have feel like you you're if you are ever angry at your digestion system for any reason, go to <laughs> Which White Castle. I often am. Go go to White Castle and teach it its place. It's like the next time you do this, this is what's gonna happen. Don't but doesn't fuck that with punish me. you more? Well, maybe it's like, maybe it's one of those. It hurts me. It's it's going to hurt you more than it hurts me. Or hurt oh me gosh. more than it hurts you. Just do this right now. <laughs> Can I get? Hi, Peggy. What? I'm sleeping. What? Sleeping. Hi, Dotty. I'm sleeping too. <laughs> and, and also, to do this and put it on fucking Periscope. Why are you Periscoping anyway if you're an EMT? Like, you're good. Have slightly more important things to do? I know. Why, why are you putting, why are you fucking putting this on the internet? This is... A webcast about being an EMT? That's cool. But you're gonna get fired. You're yeah. lucky they let you quit. Yeah. Because... the uh, When a viewer on the app inquired about the delay, prompting the EMT said he wasn't about to leave his dinner waiting while they responded to a call that was likely a, quote, taxi ride, referring to people who fake emergencies to get free rides to the hospital. Wow. You're never getting a job in anything resembling 
an ambulance now, ever. Fair, there are people that do that to get seen faster in the ER. Because if you come into the ER in an ambulance, you're triaged ahead of everyone else. You're considered a greater emergency. Hmm. That said, that's not okay. Because you don't know that it was that kind of situation. And even if it was, that doesn't mean someone's not sick and or wounded. Yeah. Your job is to, you don't, yours is not to question why. Yours is to drive the fucking ambulance. Yes. But just when you thought that was the worst possible EMTs you could ever imagine. Can we go back to fire? Someone in this, by what I read, this, both of these happened in the same week in two different places. This one comes to us from Atlanta. I don't know how this, uh, neighbors say EMTs fought, drove through yards, damaging properties. Neighbors are bewildered and angry after an alleged fight between two EMTs left their yards ruined and property damaged. I didn't know you girls were EMTs. They tell Channel 2's Richard oh, Elliott. And look at the mess where people are oh, Stop that, stop that. Police say an ambulance crew. No, nope. give me the... Sorry. But less kittens, more internet. They tell Channel 2's Richard Elliott's the two workers from a private ambulance company dropped off a patient on Wednesday in a Duluth neighborhood but then started fighting in, fr in the front yard of a home. The fight, the fight escalated. The neighbors say one of the employees pulled a knife on the other. One jumped into the ambulance and drove away with the other hanging on to the back of the vehicle. The ambulance tore through five front yards, smashing down mailboxes, damaging electrical boxes, and knocking down Eric... Uh, resident Eric's Naboth's tree. Tree. Naboth showed our reporter a bag full of ambulance wreckage. Quote, so here are the pieces of the ambulance left behind. This is a piece of its mirror. Resident wow. James Perry says he saw the other employee hanging onto the back of the ambulance. Came outside, saw a yellow colored ambulance going down the roadway and a gentleman hanging off the back saying... Help me call 911. <laughs> the irony <laughs> of <laughs> <your tea. laughs> shouting call 911. <laughs> See what happens when they call 911? Your dispatcher is going to get on the radio <laughs> and say, You're the closest unit. <laughs> And you're going to have a really embarrassing explanation to make. <laughs> Call 911! You are 911! <laughs> I mean, I guess Flava Flav was right. 911 is a joke in your town. If your town is Atlanta or... <laughs> Can you just imagine this guy walks, opens his door, an ambulance speeds by, there's a guy hanging off the back call. I'd be like, nope, that's it. That's my day. I'm done. I'm going back to bed. That's all of today I can handle. That's it. I'm, I have had my, th that is my today quota. This is the kind of shit that only happens in a Will Ferrell movie. <laughs> That is just, that is kind of, a, they knocked, they smashed the fuck out of everything. They killed a tree. They killed a goddamn tree. And kept going. I mean, I guess at least they dealt with their EMT stuff first before having a crazy ass death match. And why, why would an EMT have a knife to pull on somebody? That doesn't really surprise me. Most people, most firefighters, EMTs, whatever, carry some manner of utility knife. 
because you might need to cut somebody out of clothing, cut straps. It's, cut a bitch, apparently. Yes, but I used to, one of my friends in college was an EMT and I was his class, or he was studying to be an EMT and I was his class's practice dummy. They would strap me to the board and put fake splints on me and take my blood pressure and all that stuff they have to know how to do. And they all had utility knives because they're handy. So that that part doesn't surprise me. If they say, if it's like a machete, that would give me pause. But if it's a fucking pocket knife or something, Dan yep. carries a pocket knife with him everywhere he goes because they're handy. But if you're the EMT and you stab someone, you're just going to have to take him to the hospital yourself. Yes, that is counterproductive. That I is mean, true. Jesus Christ. And then pulling the well, okay, we have we, we got even. We, uh, Is that that interesting that I was my friend's EMT practice dummy? It's not that interesting. I got strapped to a backboard a lot. They had a bad habit of rolling it over on my hair. It's about as interesting as it gets. We've got one more road. Okay, th this we've got one more roadway story, and this this is. <sighs> Yeah, you ever know those people who think that they have talents, they and skills and abilities they are they do not actually possess, but are convinced they do. I mean, we were both in the cam, so you know I do. Yeah, because there was always some Torridor salon where there was singing. Oh yeah. Well, okay. Well, let, let, let's take that and apply that to James Bond, shall we? That's actually Dottie taking a bath, not Peggy, guys. But that's okay. Driver uses smoke. I'm going to play this, even though I have to mute it because it's kind of annoying. Come on, play. Play. Play video. <laughs> Driver uses smokescreen spikes during chase. Gets caught anyway. By smokescreen, do they mean like he dropped a... No, he... Disappeared? No, his car was modified to emit a smokescreen. Oh, it's from Lithuania. A driver tried some James Bond style moves while trying to flee from police in Lithuania. Dashcam video shows the driver creating a smoke screen and throwing spikes out the window during a wild chase. The video shows the driver then trying to turn the wrong way on a freeway. The driver's efforts were ultimately unsuccessful as police managed to pin the car against a guardrail. <laughs> So this, all right, I want you, to, if you're watching the video, I want you to note one thing. The smoke screen is not doing anything but letting police know exactly where the fuck he is. Yeah. It's not obstructing their vision. It's not, you know, turning into the, this, this dense fog of Mordor shit behind him. No, you no. Are sending up a flare. Yes, it's like saying, here I am, just in case you lose me. Just follow the pollution. And then he tried to throw spike like caltrips out the window, and that didn't work. You know, the thing of it is, even if you get away, they have your license plate number, and your car is hella modified, so it's not going to be that hard to find. Not going to be that hard to find. Like, the thing with car chases is, even if you get away, they going to find you. Because that car is registered, probably to you. And they have your address. I just, this is one of those guys who sees a movie and thinks, I can do that. Yeah, but you can't. No, you can't. You are neither Smokey nor the Bandit. And, and even, even more, the movies, they lie. It's mm -hmm. not as easy as the movies make it look. No, none of that works that way. None of it. Otherwise, don't you think you'd be seeing a lot more of this sort of thing if it actually was fucking useful? Yeah, Myth like watch more Mythbusters, bro. Mythbusters did a whole episode. They check, they check the the smoke screen, the oil slicks, the fire trails, all of those kinds of fucking things. None but of those. They checked whether or not you could actually use another car as a ramp to jump over that car. I did. Did, did that one work? I forgot. They had just. They had to modify the other car to basically be undrivable. Ah, well, okay. There we are. Make it work. 
So they made it work, but not under any type of remotely realistic conditions. Just if if you see something in the movies that looks amazing, it's probably a lie. Yeah. Real life is not that interesting. Real life is only ever that interesting accidentally. <clears throat> that should never Real life hot 20 year olds are not dying to bang Vince Vaughn. <laughs> You cannot detach a bomb from the undercarriage of your car by flipping it under a crane like Jason Statham. You're not... <clears throat> Hobbits aren't real. Well, no. No, they're, they're real. They found, like, little little skeletons. Well, okay, they're not real anymore. Okay. But, anyway. Yeah, that that's the first thing we learned... Don't believe everything you see in a fucking movie. Mm -mm. It's it's not you. You're just gonna end up looking like an imbecile. Scarlett Johansson, however, <laughs> can actually break your neck with her thighs. Has she don't done ask, so? Don't don't ask me how I know. Has she ever actually done that? Black Widow. That's like her signature maneuver. Well, yeah, but it's it's not like you know, she's never like faced charges or nothing. Well, no. We've learned that sometimes the EMTs Sometimes the people entrusted to save your life suck. Really badly. They are bad at their jobs. Yeah. It might be less dangerous just, you know, it'd be like, oh, I'm bleeding pretty bad. Should I call 911? Fuck no. I'll limp no, there. Just duct tape that motherfucker up and drive yourself. Yeah, that's probably it's the safer option. Um, and also we've learned if you're doing any if you're doing anything that could potentially end up with you getting fired, don't live stream that shit. <clears throat> what are you stupid? Have you? <laughs> I mean, obviously, yes, they are stupid. I mean, Jesus, have you never been anywhere near the goddamn internet? Do you not know how this works? Do you know how th that shit would go on Facebook and it's viral? And you don't get any money when shit goes viral. You just get fired. Yeah. I'm famous for being a dumbass. We've learned that, that if the kid's birthday cake is not 100% perfect, the kid's not going to give a shit. He's seven. Life will somehow manage to march on. It's not like you're raising a little Michelangelo here. He doesn't give a shit if 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 Superman's face is just a blob. He's just gonna shove it. He's just gonna go. Ah, he's seven. He doesn't give a fuck. He still think farts are the funniest thing in the entire universe. For Christ's sake. Yeah, and that's gonna last a while, like till he's fifty. We've learned. Okay, all right. Well, to 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 be fair, I have to I have to pull it to be fair here. When your cat <laughs> farts so loud, he wakes up and meows at his own ass. Oh, Grady! That shit's funny. You cannot do that around here, but they do often get in vicious fights with their tails. So, yes, I am talking about you. My cat woke himself up <clears throat> with his own ass and then had the temerity to go, Ow! And his, off. Ow! I'm like, I, I, I was looking at that and I'm like, did I get a dog by mistake and just not know it? Because <laughs> and he did that. He flattened his ears back. He's like, Ow! <laughs> Stop that. What's going on here? We've learned that sometimes fire truck is literal? Yeah. And it's a truck of fire. And finally, when you have that one friend who always does the thing that goes a little bit too far, you need to be to learn it's time to sometimes you got to tackle that motherfucker because you know what's going to happen. Or you need to just stop being their friend. Maybe. That's true so at too. Least you don't get brought down by association. Yeah. Cause and maybe when they have no more friends, they'll learn their lesson. No. No. They never learn. The, the learning is never. They never fucking learn. 
They never learn. They just turn into Johnny Knoxville then. They go pro. 